Did you know that salmon can navigate thousands of miles back to their exact birthplace in freshwater rivers to spawn? Watch the video until the end to discover the secret while learning how salmon are bred and processed. From spawning, rearing, harvesting, cutting, and cleaning, to packaging fillets, every step promises that the freshest salmon ends up on the seafood lover's plates. Salmon is a popular fish known for its delicious taste and nutritional value. It's been found in the fossil record dating back to the Middle Eocene period. But salmon as we know it today first evolved in the North Pacific Ocean in the Pliocene era. Humans have eaten it for centuries. The earliest evidence of humans eating salmon comes from North American and European archaeological sites dating back to around 8000 BC. Salmon was an important food source for many Native American tribes, and early European settlers also ate it. It's a fatty fish high in omega-3 fatty acids, beneficial for heart health, and is a good source of protein and vitamins. The cold water fish is found in the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It spawns in fresh water and then migrates to the ocean to live and grow. Salmon can grow very large with some individuals reaching lengths of up to 4 feet, about 1 meter, and weights of up to 100 pounds, around 45 kilograms. There are five species of salmon, Atlantic salmon, Chinook salmon, Chum salmon, Coho salmon, and Sockeye salmon. Each species has its unique characteristics like color, size, and taste. Atlantic salmon is a silvery fish with black spots. It's the smallest of the five species, typically reaching lengths of only two to three feet, about one meter. Chinook, or king salmon, is the largest among the five species. It can grow four feet long and weigh up to 100 pounds, or 45 kilograms. Chum salmon is a darker colored fish with a reddish brown back. It's the most abundant species of salmon, with populations found in the North Pacific and North Atlantic Oceans. Coho salmon is a silver colored fish with black spots, Sockeye salmon is a bright red fish with black spots. It's known for its rich flavor and is often used in smoked salmon products. Salmon typically spawn in the spring and summer. The female salmon digs a nest in the gravel of a river or stream and lays her eggs. The eggs hatch after a few weeks and the young salmon, called fry, live in fresh water for the first few months. When old enough, the fry migrate to the ocean to live and grow. Salmon is a popular fish for both sport fishing and commercial fishing. It's a highly sought after fish because of its delicious taste and nutritional value. Salmon is also popular in many dishes, such as sushi and sashimi. Smoked salmon is also a very famous dish. Norway is the world's biggest salmon supplier, accounting for more than 50% of the global salmon production, around 1.3 million metric tons, about 3 billion pounds annually. Salmon's global consumption has increased in recent years. The United States, European Union, and Japan are the largest global salmon consumers. The United States consumed roughly 420,000 metric tons, around 900 million pounds. Europe, nearly 1.2 million metric tons, approximately 3 billion pounds. And Japan, about 300,000 metric tons of consumption, 600 million pounds, in 2022. The global salmon market was estimated at about $21 billion in the same year. Let's explore how salmon is bred and processed commercially. Healthy and genetically superior salmon are selected as broodstock. Their health, nutrition, and reproductive conditions are strictly monitored in controlled environments like hatcheries or fish farms. The broodstock is allowed to spawn naturally or hormone treatments are used to induce spawning at temperatures between 40 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit, between 5 and 13 degrees Celsius. Eggs and milt, or sperm, are collected from the spawning fish and carefully mixed for fertilization. It takes between 20 and 30 days for the egg to become fertilized, depending on the water temperature. Eggs are fertilized in specially designed incubation trays or tanks at around 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 and 10 degrees Celsius, with oxygen levels between 8 and 10 mg per L. These eggs are monitored regularly to identify and remove dead or diseased ones. Once the eggs hatch, the fry are vaccinated against common diseases and transferred to freshwater tanks with temperatures between 44 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 
7 and 10 degrees Celsius. They're grown in freshwater tanks for 10 to 16 months and fed a diet of live food such as brine shrimp and rotifiers. When the fry are around 1 to 2 years of age, they are gradually exposed to salt water, preparing them for migration to the ocean. By now, they've grown 8 to 12 inches long, about 20 to 30 centimeters, and weigh around 1 to 2 pounds, 450 to 900 grams. Now that the smolts are used to salt water, they are transferred to sea pens. Sea pens are large floating cages anchored to the seabed with temperatures typically between 50 and 61 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 and 16 degrees Celsius. The salmon are grown here for 14 to 18 months and fed a diet of pellets made from fish meal and plant-based ingredients. They are also closely monitored for health and well-being in the sea pens. Salmon are harvested for 18 months to 3 years, depending on the species. The fish are captured from the sea cages using specialized nets or equipment and promptly transported to the processing facility. The salmon scales are removed using a fish scaler or sharp knife from the tail to the head on a small scale. Descaling machines with brushes and rollers are used to remove the scales from the salmon when cleaning them on a large scale. Starting at the gills, salmon are then cut along their bellies towards the tails. The salmon guts are removed with a sharp knife or a gutting machine with vacuums. Puncturing the stomach is avoided because it can result in the release of foul-smelling juices. The liver and roe located in the abdomen of the salmon are removed to be discarded or used in other dishes. To remove blood or residue, the salmon is rinsed thoroughly under cold water with temperatures between 44 and 54 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 and 12 degrees Celsius. The salmon is washed and patted dry with a paper towel. The washed and dried salmon pass through automatic color sorters, x-ray machines, defect detectors, and grading machines to ensure the fish meet the necessary standards for freshness and appearance. The salmon are now cut along the backbone, removing the flesh from the bones. There are two main methods for filleting salmon. Hot filleting uses heat to loosen the flesh from the bones at approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit nearly 40 degrees Celsius. It's typically done in a processing facility where salmon are filleted immediately after being caught. Hot filleting produces a fillet with a smooth, clean surface. Cold filleting is typically done around 40 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly 4 degrees Celsius. In a retail setting where salmon are filleted after being purchased, this process produces a fillet with a rougher surface that may have some bones or skin attached. Automatic machines wrap salmon fillets in vacuum-sealed cryovac or water-filled bags. Vacuum-sealed bags or cryovac bags are the best options for long-term storage. Plastic wrap or water-filled bags can be used for short-term storage. The temperature at which salmon fillets are frozen before shipping varies depending on the packaging type used. Salmon fillets packaged in vacuum-sealed or cryovac bags are typically frozen at negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly negative 34 degrees Celsius or colder. Salmon fillets packaged in plastic wrap or water-filled bags are typically frozen at negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, around negative 30 degrees Celsius or colder. To keep the salmon fillets fresh during transportation, they are stored and transported using refrigerated trucks at a temperature close to freezing usually between 32 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 to 4 degrees Celsius. The packaged salmon fillets are then distributed to various markets, grocery stores, restaurants, and seafood retailers, where they are stored in refrigerated cases at freezing temperatures until purchased by customers or used in cooking. Are you still wondering how salmons can navigate thousands of miles back to their birthplace in freshwater rivers to spawn? Scientists believe that salmon use a combination of biological mechanisms and environmental cues for navigation, the most prominent being magnetoreception, the ability to sense Earth's magnetic fields. They may use the Earth's magnetic field as a compass, enabling them to recognize specific locations and navigate back to their birthplace even when the Earth's magnetic field is reversed. I love salmon sashimi. How do you like your salmon? Tell us in the comments section. Thank you for watching this episode and we'll see you in the next one.